Right, in this uh, video, um, we're just going to take a very quick look at how to create uh, how to create uh, frequency tables in R. Now, um, the first thing we need is so we're going to use this uh, math tests um, CSV file here. So it's got name, teacher, whether or not they passed and failed. So we've got a whole bunch of students, the particular teacher they had, Mr. Smith and Mr. Evans, and whether or not they passed and failed. So first things first, we need to um, import that. So we know how to do this now. Read.csv, point to the file, some lines on my desk top, and it is math underscore tests dot csv. Oops. Read that in. Let's just take a look. Math tests. Yep, it's all there. Okay, um, and here we go. So to, to write a, a table, uh, a frequency table, we just click in um, table and then math test. So uh, our data set dollar teacher against math tests dollar pass underscore sorry pass dot fail. And now if we run that, we get a little contingency test. So Mr. Evans has two fails. Let's see, Mr. Evans, one fail. Mr. Evans, two fails. The other fail is Mr. Smith. So that looks um, right. Now we can, uh, let me just copy that. I'm going to put that down here. We can um, write that in, in, in clearer form. So we can say with math tests. We, we saw this before. What do I want to do? Well, I want to do table and I want to do teacher against pass dot fail. And if I run that, I get the same result. So if I copy this, this is what I meant to copy, and I call this my table and I assign it to that. Nothing happens. Whereas if I if I now call my table, I get that that little table. But that table has just got frequencies. Um, I can add things uh, to it. Um, so first of all, we can add margins using the margin dot table my um, table. And if we put a one there, we see that we're getting um, the, the the row sums, so six and five. And if we change that to um, two, we see we get the column sums, so three and eight. So that's just with uh, margin. We can also get the proportion. So if I just change that to prop. We see we get that this. Uh, so you see here the rows add up to one. So 33% of Mr. Evans's uh, students failed uh, and 66 passed. And then if we want the, the other proportions, we just change that to a two. And now we see 66% of people who failed were with Mr. Evans and passes were 50-50. So that's a very simple way of creating frequency tables in R. Let's just take another look. So easiest thing to do is to create a table and the actual command is table um, and you just put the variables against which you want to, to compare frequencies. You can get row and column sums using margin um, acting on your table and you can move away from frequencies to get um, proportions using prop there. 